Hello, my creative friends. Jessica Sanders here of ColorMeCreativeArt.com. Welcome to my channel. Let's paint a snowball today. So I'll dive right in with the drawing of the snowball, which is just a simple circle. And if you notice, I didn't worry about keeping it perfect. It's not an exact circle. But if you really want an exact circle, you can always put something down on your paper and trace around it. But really, it's a snowball, so don't worry about it. It'll be fine. For this project today, I'm using my Jane Davenport watercolors and a little watercolor sketchbook. I can leave the links for those below in case you're interested. And I wanted this icy cold feeling, so I'm using cold colors. I started with the teal blue to get that a nice light color and I'm just painting along the edge of my white snowball. I like to keep some of the edges um, nice and soft so I do go in and soften the edges and my snowball is sitting here on a little hill if you will or on the ground so I'm adding shadow to that and for that I'm using a really dark color which is Jane's blue gray and it makes a really nice dark color and great for the shadow but I'm using it very watered down so in fact even though it starts out to be really dark color it's actually very light on the paper. This is a great way to practice negative shape painting as well when you want to paint something white. So you see me painting around the edges of the snowball. That's a negative painting technique. And I wanted to add texture, so here comes the salt. I used a variety of salt, including table salt, kosher salt, and Himalayan salt of all things. I just thought it would be fun to try out the different sizes and shapes of the salt and see what kind of texture it would leave. I put the salt on and that was the end of the first layer basically. I needed to let it dry after that. And then I used a brush to remove the salt. You can remove it with your hand. You can use the brush. It, it's totally up to you. Now you could actually stop at this point, but of course I didn't because I love contrast and I want to kick it up even more by adding another layer of watercolor paint. I also use this as an opportunity to add texture. So you'll see me dotting the color on a lot. That's just to create the idea that it's snowing in the background, that there's a mix of dark and light. And it also creates that contrast with the white snowball and the darker background. If you'll notice, I'm using the dark against light, dark against light, or rather, <clears throat> if you work from left to right, it would be light, dark, light, dark. If you notice that color scheme, which really creates drama in your painting. I use the same technique for a Skillshare class that I just made where I painted a watercolor snowman. So if you'd like to join me for that class and paint the entire snowman and not just a snowball, I'll leave the links below for that, including a free link just for you for the first 25 people. And um, come and join me on Skillshare. You don't have to be a premium member to follow me there to know what classes I publish. Uh, so it would be great if I saw you over there as well as here in YouTube. Continuing to add that contrast, darkening and deepening the shadow underneath the snowball and adding a little bit more texture to sort of that snowy hill that the snowball is sitting on and more texture to the snowball. While everything is still wet, I can just drop in that color and get nice soft little shapes um, and that will create that texture that I'm looking for. And then I added more salt and I'm going to let this layer dry. So once this layer is dry, I'm going to remove the salt again. You can use a brush or a hand, just like I said before. Just be aware if you have something on your hands and you use it on your paper, you may get some oils from your hands on there or something. I felt like I needed to really kick up that shadow just a little bit more, so I added to that. And then I went on to adding the snow. I'm using Winsor & Newton Calligraphy Ink. It's white, it's opaque, it's beautiful and a fan brush, which is my favorite way of adding splatters to a painting. And some of these splatters got a little bit bigger than I wanted them to be, so I sort of went back in and just tapped it out with my finger just to make them sort of fade into the background and not be quite so prominent. If I had just had a little bit less ink on my brush, I wouldn't have had that big splatter result. 
So here is the snowball. I hope you enjoyed this little mini tutorial for painting a snowball. I hope you'll try it and share your results with me. You can tag me on Instagram at Jessica Sanders Art. And thanks so much for watching. If you stay all the way to the end, you'll see a time lapse of this. And don't forget to join me on Skillshare and share this video with your friends. Give me that thumbs up and let me know if you like this kind of video. And if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. I love to hear from you. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you have an amazing, wonderful holiday coming up. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.